Game number four of 48. We're taking on the Rakers. It's Storm Davis going up against Brandon Webb at beautiful Parque Jardineros. And as customary, three players from each team meet at home plate to talk a little smack. And I like the shanties out there beyond right field. A beautiful setting again here at Parque Jardineros. Mark McGuire up, one out in the first. Runners on first and second, and then he grounds into the inning-ending double play. It's been a tough start for McGuire, although he feels this cleanly and then can't make the connection with Storm Davis at first. But Davis able to strike out Curtis Granderson and Carlos Delgado, including the first batter of the inning. But now, looking at bases loaded for Carlos Delgado, and Davis gets him again. Brings up Ellis Burks and swing and a miss. And the throw out at first gets out of the jam. We head to the top of the fourth and it's Dave Parker leading off. Sends this one on a right deep center field, gone. Right into the stars and the big man has got some hops, one nothing. Athletics. Here we are later on in the fourth, and it's Jose Canseco trying to leg out the double. Gonna be close, and he is out. Head to the bottom of the fifth. John Allroos standing in, and that's going into the left center gap. He's got a runner grounding second, and a little miscommunication on defense. I thought the center fielder was gonna go pick it up, and apparently. That is not the case. Curtis Granderson stands in and then goes to the right center gap, giving the Rakers the lead two to one. And it's gonna be back to back triples for the team with the giraffe logo. And now Carlos Delgado is not striking out this time. Little dribbler to center field. Puts the Rakers up by two. We head to the top of the sixth and it's Jose Canseco with two outs. Sends this one on a ride, and it's going off the warning track this time. Definitely a double. Tony Phillips, though, can't bring him in. Strikes out, looking. We go to the top of the seventh, and it's our hottest hitter, Carney Lansford, batting 500. He's got runners on first and third, but not for long, as Ricky Henderson has his third stolen base of the night. Those are his first three stolen bases of the season and Lansford is gonna fly out to right to end the top half of the seventh. We go to the top half of the eighth. That's Mark McGuire with one out, nobody on, sends this one on a ride. Deep center field gone. A's pull within one as Seiko and McGuire should be banging forearms, not doing that little applause stuff. Dave Henderson facing J.J. Putz. Looks at strike two and swings at some garbage. Terry Steinbach up now with two outs. Runners on first and second. And it's Mark Ellis, the former A, with the nice play to end the inning. And speaking of Ellis, here he is in the bottom of the eighth with one out facing Rick Honeycutt. That's going to the left center gap. And I should have dove with Dave Henderson, and it's gonna turn into another triple for the Rakers. Jose Valentin stands in, and it's a little dribbler back to the pitcher, Honeycutt, and he throws out Mark Ellis at home. We go to the top of the ninth, Weiss, Henderson, and Lanford as Weiss leads off with the walk, and J.J. Putz a little frustrated. Ricky Henderson, three for three, but this time grounds into the 4-6-3 double play. We're down to our last out. Fortunately, it's our hottest hitter, but the bat never leaves the shoulder. Goes down on three pitches, and the A's fall to two and two on the season. Henderson, Allroo, Granderson, the stars of the game. Game two will be Dave Stewart against Mike Messina. See you there.